ahead and touch on a couple of items that I that I more discussing to be. And, and the reality is is that a lot of things that we talk about are things that we've all had to some part and some degree discussion with each other um, as far as seeing what the needs are for our community and the direction we want to go in. Um, I've got two things here. One of them is I'd like for us really to put a real good and uh, maybe a better emphasis on our appointments to boards, commissions, and authorities when we have the opportunities to do that. I think that uh, when these vacancies are coming up, we know that they're there. I think that the commission needs to seriously look at those vacancies to be sure that the right people are, are on, on those boards, commissions, and authorities, that they are actively, in other words, we, we would need to check with the chair of whatever those commissions are to be sure that, uh, that the person is engaged, the person is working hard, the person is, is, uh, uh, is a productive member of that board, commission, or authority. I think also it would be responsibility of commissioners sort of any other term to say but but basically to do some recruiting from that standpoint just because you've got somebody that says I'd like to serve on board doesn't necessarily mean that that individual may or may not be a good board member. I think that if you do your due diligence at that point in the community to go through an interview process if that's what you want to call it to talk with that in depth with that um, that individual um, and bottom line is when we have the opportunity to make the appointments then we need to be making the best choices that we probably possibly can we need to encourage as well citizens of this community to step forward and participate on these boards, commissions, and authorities. And at the end of the day, we would have good people in good places doing good work. Um, so I think that that would be extremely important as something that we want to do. Is it possible, I would like, if we can get those boards that come up Paige, uh, Paige has informed me that she's going, and I think they've done it in the past too, going to we'll formulate a, a, a complete list of boards and vacancies that are going to be coming up for the year. You should be getting that in January, which will give you a, a good bit of input and some foresight. But at the same time, as a reminder, I think it would be great to, let's say, at least 30, 60 days out that uh, in our information package that we have a little reminder that these positions are, are going to be coming up and are going to need to be filled. Uh, but I think as a commissioner, yeah, as your county commission, I think that you, we should be charged with our due diligence or to, to do our due diligence and go out there and try to find the best people for these jobs. It's not a popular contest that we're running here. We need to make sure we've got the right people making on these boards that can make the right decisions for our community. That's extremely important. So, that would be I'm a short-term and a long-term. Short-term. Short yeah, short-term, full-term. <laughs> All the way through. It's one of those that we need to consistently be, be working, you know, work 